I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified right now that I made a bad decision. My channel. I was previously living out of my 1998 Jeep Cherokee, but I recently just got a 2011 Toyota Tundra. Now we're having some issues with it, but I want to keep continue to progress. Last time we left off, I was going to go look at a slide-in truck camper top, which I find these things to be very hard to find a lightweight short bed one, and also one that's in my price range. So let's get back into that. All right, so we're here. So I got the money from the bank, $3,300. It was originally $3,850, and then I, so I'm really tired. I'm finally gonna go and pick up this truck camp. issues look at this see this side space so much space you come over this other side flat against it this is terrifying to drive like this like i feel like it's gonna tip over I, I do not like this i'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse i'm not gonna lie i'm terrified right now that i made a bad decision and that i'm not gonna be able to do this and that it's just just it's a lot. <sighs> Very overwhelmed. I've been driving a lot. And driving with this thing that we can feel the wind resistance. Like it's it's it has to be a propped up because these wires right here we didn't want to crush. I just don't really understand why it's made like that, but we need to figure out what those are before we place all the weight on it. So I'm feeling scared. <laughs> So it's finally the time to take in this truck to fix the bearing and at the same time I'm going to give you a little tour of the before of the camper. Now there's definitely some water damage and stuff and I got some stuff to fix some things. Before we get into that I want to talk about today's sponsor which is Ara. Ara is an app that keeps all your information safe like spam callers, data fishers. They give me fast fraud alerts if anyone tries to use the data to access my credit or bank accounts. It keeps your password safe. It takes your personal data and protects it. For example, getting spam phone calls or texts or whatever. You put your number in there, they're gonna take your number off of these big lists that are sold. Recently, at and revealed that nearly all their customers' calls and text records have been exposed in a massive data breach. And it hasn't even been a few months since they admitted over 70 million of their user social security numbers ended up on the dark web. So even if you don't use at and if someone who texted you did, then your number has been exposed. What can you do to protect yourself? You can use Aura. Aura alerts me if anything, any of my sensitive information has been exposed anywhere. Like recently, whenever I just bought this truck, whenever I, I had to do a credit check and finance it. So while I was in the dealership, I was getting notifications from Aura, which is really nice to know that I have protection with all my very sensitive personal stuff. Also, I can get um, their AI powered call assistance that picks up any unknown calls on my behalf to screen them for spam or scams. And then the AI forwards legitimate calls to me so I, you know, I don't miss the good calls. You can use my code at ara.com slash Victoria Rose. You can get your first two weeks for free and just try it out. And that is also linked in the description. I wanna show you a couple things that I got for the camper. I just ordered these not really knowing that, like I, ha I haven't gotten a chance to actually really look at it. I had to leave it over at my dad's because 
what happened is it, it left a big scrape on the side of my truck and it, it shifted while we were driving it back home. So it like, it was, it was almost falling off the blocks that we put it on. It was all janky. This, the, tr the camper does not fit my, my bed properly. So I'm going to have to do a lot of different modifications. Um, I have a wish list if you guys want to look at it to help me. You don't have to. I don't want you to if you don't want to. Only for the people who are interested. Because there are so many items that I need to get to fit this into my truck. Like I need the um, the rubber. I just I need to figure something out. And the only reason I say about my wish list is because I have to spend a thousand dollars on tie downs, which I didn't even consider this. It wasn't even in my mind. I'm like, okay, I'm done with the big spending, but I want to get the best tie downs I can, and it's going to cost like a thousand dollars. So I need to save up for that. But there's still other things I need to be doing in the meantime like fixing the wheel bearing, fixing the sensor lights so I can get this thing inspected, paying for my plates, registration, all that stuff that I have not done yet with this. For the trailer, I got canvas repair tape because the canvas, obviously this is an older trailer, it's gonna have some issues. I got invisible waterproof glue and I'm hoping that I can use this. I know there is, my dad said there might be one like actual active hole in it so it's still getting water damage and that really really makes me nervous and I also got mold and mildew stain remover and disinfectant fungicide cleaner that cleans up mildew and mold and stuff so I'm going to spray and clean 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 I also got my bearing in the mail so we're going to try and replace that let's head over to my dad's and have a, a full tour of the camper and what we need to fix and then I'll do a full after whenever we get everything done. I have a lot of ideas for this, but we need to get the structure of everything done first. And then we can play around with like the fun decorating stuff. Okay, so I'm over here. We're gonna lift up the truck and try and fix this wheel bearing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it or not, but we have to do this before I can do anything with the camper, but I'm gonna give you a full tour. And I just looked at the camper and I'm really anxious about it. It has way more problems than I thought that it did. It's gonna be a lot of work. So I'm gonna give you the full before of all of the issues. Nothing's easy. Okay, so we finally got the axle off. Now the hard part. So the bearing broke while we're trying to press it out, which seal these. And that means that the only thing that I can do now is get a whole new axle is over $500. So I'm very disappointed right now. I'm just like, why can't anything be easy? I'm gonna show you the tour of the camper, but I'm just really low spirits right now with everything with the camper too. Gotta keep it real. It's just, it's just very costly. It's just hard because you have to press out the bearing. Don't really have an option. I think with the way that I live my life and the things I do and stuff, there is a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of things that don't go the way they're supposed to or the way I want them to. And I do still get very disappointed, but I do have to, I, I've had to have the ability to just move on quickly from things. And this is gonna set me back a lot. It's like $500 for a new axle. So I have to wait again to get a new axle. I should have just gotten the axle in the first place, but I wanted to try and save money because so many expenses for this thing. I'm gonna have to pay. After posting about the truck, I've had a lot of opinions, of course, it's the internet, and I wanna address some of those, but I also wanna give you a tour and everything that I wanna do in this camper. Right now, I'm in a mood of, I hate everything. <laughs> I hate this camper, I hate it right now, but I know it'll pass, and I'm, I, have, I have to do what I have to do. I'm gonna fix it up, it's all a learning experience. I have to keep telling myself that, but I hate this camper right now. I hate my camper. The truck, I still am very happy with that I bought. Well, let's have a look at on the outside first and let me show you around the outside. So this is a 2002 Sunlight camper. Lots of water damage, lots of mildew, maybe mold, and lots of issues that we need to address, but it's all problem solving. It's a thousand pounds, which is the lightest one that I could have found, that I could find, which is what I was looking for. And it's also a six for 6.5 bed which is also very hard to find. So those are this is those are the reasons I got this specific one and I paid 3300 for it. Uh, it was originally listed at 3800. Was it the best deal in the world? No. It wasn't, but I couldn't find anything small enough that, you know, would have worked. So this is just what we're working with and it's not great, but we're going to make it into our own and we're going to learn a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go on the outside. Canvas up here. You see this is 
you know, gonna need fixed. These things are such a pain, such a pain already, and I've only done it like once. You have to hand crank all of them. So my thoughts is that I'm gonna completely leave it up on my truck. I'm not gonna mess around with taking it up and down. So my truck is basically gonna be a makeshift camper van in a way. Propane is, we got our propane in here. We have our potable water. This is for um, connecting to electricity. This is for the fridge in here. I'm gonna probably take these things off. Um, I'll take them with me, but they stick out on the sides and it stresses me out. Come on into my home. A janky home like everything else in my life. Why? Why does everything have to be like this? Okay, you guys don't hold your breath, all right? Like, we're gonna do a lot of work to this, but this is the before, so let's remember. All right, it doesn't smell bad in here, so that's good, but this is what we have here. This is like the manual stuff. We have a sink. Look at that, a full sink, and look at this. A nice, full, two burner stove. That's amazing. We even have a mirror. Um, we even have, look, a little storage up here. We have a, some storage in there. And this part up here obviously is not water damaged, which is quite nice. Look. I have my own closet. <laughs> I mean, this is small, but it's a huge upgrade from, or I wouldn't say upgrade, but it's a huge, bigger space than that I had with Yuki. Look, we even have a fridge. Look how big this fridge is too. I'm very excited about that. Just today, my dad accidentally broke the table, but it's fine, it's really easily fixed. But this turns into um, a bed. And also let me just actually fix the table back up so you can see all of this stuff in here. It's very early 2000s looking, so I want to redo all the cosmetic stuff, but we have a lot of structural stuff to do before that. This is a lot of breaking of things today. That's life sometimes. Sometimes things just break. So we're just gonna set this up like this for now so you can get an idea. Another thing I'm really excited about is having table space. I'm gonna reupholster all of the fabrics and the curtains. Um, this is just not pretty. And then, you know, storage, little storage things everywhere really helps. Got a little window right here. We even have a heater in here. We have a carbon monoxide outlet right here, outlet right there, and then more storage. Oh, no, that is not storage. Look at that. Look how it's fair. RV stuff is always incredibly cheap. So that's to be expected. This is especially flimsy because, well, it's supposed to be lightweight and also because there's some water damage. Oh, so this goes right outside. Get a nice breeze through the floor, which is kind of nice actually. It's really hot in here. These both go outside. So the base here is very narrow. We also have storage up here. We even have a little fire extinguisher. Uh, let me show you the bedroom and then I'll show you the bad spots and then I'm gonna show you what I wanna do to it. Something that ma really made me wanna cry today, looks like it's gonna rain, is I, I realized the one thing, the one thing that I wanted to be easy in this is to be able to do this by myself, to be able to crank it up and down by myself. I needed that. And my dad said today, because I, I hadn't even tried it yet, I haven't even really given this a thorough look through. He said that it was really hard for even just him to do and you need it's like a two person job. So that is my main priority to somehow fix this crank thing because I'm not gonna be able to do that by myself. This cranks the canvas pop up, up and down. That made me really, really sad. And then, um, hello? Hi, I'm on my way, but it's probably gonna storm. I'll be in tornado and then I'll have to find a ditch. <laughs> Mom, it'll be fine. You can come whenever you want. Like, I'm coming right now. All right, thanks. I have to have my mom pick me up because I'm not gonna be able to drive my truck. Anyways, I want to cry today. Moving on, it's gonna rain, so we do need to actually reel this down. But let me finish it up real quick while we have light. This is the bed up here. And um, this is what I'm talking about when we're talking about the mildew that's on the canvas. Uh, there is a, a small leak somewhere that's still happening. I mean, <laughs> it's a full bed, but look at that atrocity that I got some strong cleaner to clean this stuff off, but we have to make sure that everything is sealed up before, you know, that. The thing is, whenever you go to buy something, you're kind of, you know, high anxiety. You kind of, like, we drove so far and it was gonna be dark soon, so we 
didn't really thoroughly inspect everything. But obviously when you buy an old thing like this, it's gonna be, there's gonna be some problems and I expected that. But I don't know if I expected this much water damage. I don't even know how you'd replace this canvas stuff. But if you look under here, if you look at this, it's just rotting. <laughs> You're not really supposed to lift this up with the mattress on it, but I wanna show you. Oh, me, I'm not strong enough for this shit. Okay, all right. Oh my God, that free tablecloth that that that's not wet um but it is oh i need to put this down oh my god oh my god i'm gonna break my arm uh, okay that's the damage we're talking about and it smells musty my goodness gracious this is how rvs are it's old ones it's gonna be a struggle and it's gonna give me a lot of pain and anxiety especially whenever i go out on the road with it even after fixing things but this is what you get here what is this without the struggle I have a sink, a stove, and a fridge, and that's and a desk, and that's the main things I wanted in this. And a full bed as well. That's really nice. I mean, I'm just, I'm not very happy today, but when you watch anyone redoing things or remodeling things or flipping things, there's always problems that you run into that you didn't really expect, you didn't anticipate, and you have to problem solve your way around. And that's no different here, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try our very best. I need some encouragement. I really do. So if you could leave some encouragement, because like I said in my last video, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. I do not regret buying the truck. A lot of people are like, oh my God, you got something with electrical issues. You're so stupid. How could you? Blah, blah, blah. It's not electrical issues, it's sensor issues. You saw how much, well, maybe you didn't, but there's tons of gear oil leaking out around the bearings and stuff that is leaking onto the sensors and everything. So, I mean, even if it's electrical, whatever, we already did it. There's no reason for you guys to be like, well, that was stupid of you, blah, blah, blah. For the ones that did were very encouraging, I really appreciate that. The truck is a great truck and it's just common for these things. Like it's very hard to replace the bearings and you have to just get a whole new axle. So it was bound to happen, whatever. And I really appreciate you guys being encouraging when I get sponsorships and stuff like that and to my sponsors because they help me out. I mean, they make this all possible and you guys, of course. Everything turns out to be costing a lot more than you think, especially when remodeling things. There are some nice things about this. Like not everything is water damaged. If you have any suggestions, if you guys have ever fixed up a, a camper or whatever, let me know. I've lived in a couple different RVs. One of them had water damage. Um, I'm quite used to mold and mildew, to be honest. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna prove to myself, I can do anything if I can do this. You know, once I get the tie downs, fix the water damage, fix my bearing and fix the sensors, those main concerns are the boring stuff. And please bear with me. Today's video wasn't very aesthetic. It wasn't as happy as I wanted it to be, but it is today's video. And this is a tour of my new home. We're gonna make it into a home, hopefully. I need to crank this down. In responses to the people saying that I was dumb for getting my truck. And there were probably definitely be people saying I was dumb for getting this camper. I've had experience with so much experience with used vehicles and I've had a lot of experience with RVs as well. I know what I'm getting into and it's a lot and it's annoying and it's frustrating and there's a lot of problems. I know about all of that, but I'm also up for doing it. So I just don't need the negativity. If you want to say negative things, you can. I mean, it's the internet, but just know I'm fully aware of everything, more so than you guys are. A lot of you are diagnosing my truck and stuff, which you don't know the full thing of it. So <laughs> you can't diagnose it from where you're at. I did get money taken off from the dealership because they the, the sensor thing, like I said, I don't know if they knew about the wheel bearing or whatever, but it is what it is. They took off a thousand dollars off the original price, which I'm grateful for. So there's no point in, in lament, lamenting about it. We just gotta move forward. I have a stove, which is good because with my diet now, I need that. I'm gonna get my dad out here to help me crank this down before it rains. Just breathe through it, breathe through it. This is my dad's apple orchard. Apples. What do you mean? Do I need to like go like this? It's gonna go around the circles and you're gonna miss it. So hold on both hands. This is scary. It falls down, it's gonna crush your head. Maybe you should sit down. Crush my head too. Ah, 
Jeez, it's scary. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Ah, I need help. Help me. Wait, I can't, Dad, I'm just stuck. <laughs> all right, get out before this the tornado comes. Hey, let's see if it's all, sealed. all right, it's just a technique. It's just a technique. I'm gonna get real strong. All right, it's starting to rain. I need to get inside. <laughs> there's my madre. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I know it may seem that there's so many problems and I made so many mistakes and blah blah blah, but that's not the case for me. I do get in my feelings and I get very overwhelmed about things. I am still excited to conquer all these problems and figure everything out because that is life and nothing's gonna be perfect, especially when you're buying used. This is all very doable. It's just gonna take a lot of hard work and a lot of money. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know how it's gonna go. This is my first time and I'm nervous and I'm overwhelmed, but I'm still gonna do it. We're gonna try and have fun with it. This is a new adventure for a second and then hopefully we can get it up to par for going out on the road and having a little home. And if not, I can always resell it because these things are in high demand right now. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully starting the renovations. <laughs> Bye.